today to share this with you. Seriously, guys, I got an Omis bag. Oh my god! Ah, wait, let me go get it. Oh, it's a it's a walking. It's a no. It's a Kelly. I, I don't care. I don't care. I got an Omis bag. Ah, god, I'm so excited. I never ever thought this would happen to me. Oh my god! Hold on, hold on. Um, It's right here! It's here! Guys, I got the bag! With no history whatsoever! Those are words you would never, ever hear me utter on this channel. Welcome to my channel. As you guys know on this channel, sustainability matters and we embrace imperfect sustainability. So I'll leave you some tips on how you could be imperfectly sustainable. So guys, today we are going to delve into at least five reasons why you would never hear me utter those words. Number five, fear. And it's not fear by me, but it's the fear that I've seen many YouTubers exhibit when they own an Hermes Kelly or a Birkin bag. Guys, the bags, literally, for most of them, <laughs> it's a display item. It just lives on the shelves. And they often articulate that they don't want to wear it out because they might get color transfer, that the corners would wear. It's a bag. Why did you buy it if you're fearful of wearing it? Another fear that factors into this is the fact that they are likely to get robbed. Guys, that's the sad reality of the world we are living in today. Fear of losing what you have essentially bought at one of the most exorbitant price ever. Which brings me to number four, the price. Guys, this price, it's the GDP of my country, St. Vincent and the Grenadines. GDP per capita for 2021 in my country. Compare that to the price of current day Birkin based on whatever leather it is and god forbid it's those exotic leathers guys honestly yeah i will never ever ever buy an hermes bag and not necessarily just the kelly or the birkins it's whatever Hermes bag that is out there. So when it comes to the price, this goes on to number three, the stupid Hermes game that they play. It's you have to have a history. That history involves a lot of your hard earned money that you have already spent on whether it's a scarf or it's a, uh, some form of jewelry or it's one of those one of the stupid um horse yeah seriously it is my money you should not a company should not dictate by playing the stupid game how i spend my money i don't want an extra scarf i just want the bag if I really, really have to buy a Hermes bag, I just want the bag. 
yeah let me calm down a bit and um yeah i think i'm getting too hot about this issue even a classes society so people like to differentiate themselves but for me and my lifestyle and Omez, Kelly or Birkin, it's not mandatory. It's not essential. It's not important. Um, I don't dress for my friends. I dress for me. So in that sense, having a supposedly pinnacle bag or a quarter bag, it doesn't doesn't matter to me and I would never ever subject myself to the humiliation of constantly being rejected over and over again just to get a bag I've been rejected a million times for jobs fine I could take the blows for that that's important although sometimes unfair I have learned and recognized the fact that I would be rejected for jobs. Fair enough. But nobody, nobody could tell me they feel great when they're rejected. So why would I voluntarily subject myself to undergo the MS game just to get a quarter bag? simply to flaunt that I have made it and this bag in, is important to me when essentially it was never really on my radar. I think that when it comes to the MS game, it's simply not sustainable for me to invest in traveling and in buying items that they don't need. From a sustainable point of view, that is consuming stuff that you absolutely don't need. I often encourage that you buy what you need. Why would I go buy an MS scarf or an MS, one of those horsey stuff that you attach to the bag? Yeah, I know what they are. I just, they are horsey stuff. So why, why would I do that? Why would I spend money to go and spend more money? Does that compute? Frankly, I think that that game is driven by greed on the part of MS. Yeah, you're, you're, you're complicit to that greed as well. If you happen to be one of those lucky persons that MS reached out to without having to go through that game and you think oh my god I really really feel special I am one of the lucky ones you got that invite during the pandemic think about it what was ha happening during the pandemic People, they started to reevaluate their values, what's important to them. Companies, regardless of how big they are, many companies suffer, except for Louis, of course. And so, you received that invite during a time when others were suffering, you took it. How do you feel? Seriously, are we not having consciences anymore? Is it possible for you to at least develop one or go and find your conscience if you drop it somewhere along the YouTube app? Yeah. And I know some of you may say, well, oh, it's because she can't afford the bag. Huh. <laughs> if a woman really wants something, trust me, 
she would save. She would save to get what she wants. So when it comes to that idea of status and playing that game, we are not that, oh, I hope not. I've watched many of my fellow YouTubers. Of course, we are not on the same level. I am, I am small time, okay? But I've watched many of the OGs and I'm questioning their self-esteem. Is your self-worth assigned to a bag that is supposedly the pinnacle of all bags? Please don't fall for that crap. It is crap. Oh, you, I have a great deal of respect for you guys. You have really changed the game. But please do not exaggerate when it comes to certain bags. And is Hermes or Hermes gonna really are they sponsoring you? Or are you hoping they'll sponsor you? <laughs> because as I've said before, even if Hermes e or Hermes however you pronounce it, even if they offer me a bag right this second, I will refuse it. Are we that foolish? Are we that into status? Which is, I'm gonna get to that in a few minutes. Honestly, is, is it, just me for for starters we often live above all means and that is not to throw shade at anyone i have lived above my means on many occasions and guys i will tell you it doesn't serve you well it doesn't even if you have the disposable income why? Why? Oh, yeah, the status. Which brings me to number three. I am not into status symbol. I grew up a very humble and poor Caribbean girl. Very proud of my historical background. It has made me who I am today. And that is why I can tell you that if Hermes comes to me, if Hermes approaches me right now and give me a bag, whether it's a Birkin or a Kelly, I will not take that bag. And you could take that to the bank. Because that's exactly what I'll do. Take it to the bank and do something more meaningful with my money. I am not into status. In fact, my lifestyle is not something that requires me to be flaunting the latest it bag even. Much less to invest in a bag that is totally not going to give me my cost per wear. And that is point number two. I will never ever get my cost per wear by investing in an Hermes bag. Even if you start wearing your Birkin or your Kelly as a toddler, you would never get your cost per Regardless wear. of the price point. Never, unless, for example, the Birkin or the Kelly is passed down intergenerationally, which is not the case for me, or unless somebody who has it 
give it to me. And their mother, their grandmother, their great-great-grandmother, their uncle's wives, their cousin's wives and children got the wear out of that bag before it comes to me. And it's highly unlikely. Guys, you would never ever get your cosplay wear out of an Hermes bag. Fine. That may not be important to you. So, unless you decide, okay, it's an investment bag. I'm going to buy it and resell it. Good for you. At the same time, you know what? People are coming to their senses and realizing that these exorbitant prices for a bag... That's a down payment for a house. Yes, you might say, well, I already have a house. Oh my God. Isn't there anything else that you could do with that money? Fine. I am not going to police your budget or your money and to tell you to spend your money wisely. Seriously. This is about me. Actually, it is about me. And I will never ever invest in a bag that doesn't fit into my lifestyle, is actually the cost of my country's GDP per capita for fear of wearing it. <laughs> I, will, I will never do that. And when it comes to status, yeah, it doesn't bug me. In fact, people in my country, I'm sure they have never even, most don't care about having a Hermes bag or an Hermes bag, whatever the pronunciation is. This is no disrespect to the brand. I could appreciate good craftsmanship. I could appreciate made to order. What I don't appreciate is the fact that at times these very same brands do not necessarily pay their workers very well not necessarily i'm not saying it's the case for homes or ms but do your own research number one the one if i was to buy one it would be the kelly and guys this bag has an interesting history it's not a homes it's what some would consider a dupe for me it's a replica i don't care many of the companies such as cook Geiger or I'll put the name on the screen for you you are actually supposed to have seven seven or so differences when it comes to duplicating a bag that way it would be considered a dupe as opposed to a replica I hope that one day somebody could point out to me the seven differences in the bags that I'm currently seeing on the markets at the moment. Yeah, that would be a really great video. But this bag has a very interesting story and I'll come to it. And to be honest, I am so happy that I bought this bag because it's this bag that made me realize while I love a nice top handle, see, it has dust on it. I don't even take it anywhere, apart from once when I wore it. And yeah, that's the story I'm getting to. I love a great top handle. And as I've said before, the number one reason why I would never buy the Hermes Kelly 
or Birkin, it's because I do not like it. I really don't like it. The bag for me, it reminds me of a screw reel when left open. And I'll demonstrate. Most often, many people do not keep the bags closed because it's annoyingly frustrating. And here's my story. It's annoyingly frustrating to get into this bag when you're in a queue and you want to go and get something out. So here is it closed. And one day I went to the post office and I wanted to, of course, ship something off. It was inside the bag. And so I'm in the queue completely forgetting that, okay, actually I didn't realize how problematic and what a nuisance it is to actually get into a Kelly style Hermes bag. So I'm in the queue and people are waiting behind. The, the clerk is waiting on me and here I am fidgeting, trying to get in, okay? One, <laughs> okay, two, then up and in. That, that's, too, that's too many steps. To get into a bag that you pay so much money for. Well, for me personally, it's too many steps. And the other reason why I said I do not like it, it looks like a screw reel. See? Kelly, screw reel. Seriously, guys. It's, it's like hopping and most people that I have seen wearing the bag often holds it like this. Yeah. It's not attractive at all. It's not even safe. So, guys, and this is no way, shape or form that if the Hermes Kelly or Birkin is your pinnacle bag, guys, this is not to shame you, you do you, but keep in mind that if you're trying to sell me the Kelly bag or the Birkin bag, safety must be a really great concern. There are tons of bags that I absolutely love that are my pinnacle bags. In fact, everyone's pinnacle, it bags, it's different. For me, it's absolutely different. I like no fuss bags. You snap it in and I am good to go. Here are some bags that I just love the way they close. See? Simple. It's, for me, it's the snap. It's that magnetic closure that brings me such satisfaction and sense of security. That's the reason why I love simplicity. I love good craftsmanship. But at the same time, when it comes to all these issues that I've discussed with you, the Hermes or MS Kelly or Birkin, I would never, ever own one of them. And you could take that to the bank. <laughs> Guys, there are so many dupes that you could find of very good craftsmanship out there 
and that you could get on the second hand market and yes sustainability is key guys they don't make them like they used to anymore that's why it's often great to visit the second hand market and see what you could get there first so you do you but i hope that you would take at least a tiny bit of what i've just articulated and learn and just let it fester just let it simmer and at the same time let it be digested into your system i really hope that you enjoyed this video i hope that you have learned something and I will see you in my next video.